Okay, a story that made it into the headlines uh, this week. A university in London has said from now on it will ban the sale of burgers on its campus to save the planet. Yeah, they say buying a burger does nothing to help tackle climate change and in a bid to go carbon neutral, the beef burger has to go. What do you think of that one? We're going to try an alternative, as Eamon said earlier. Charlotte there in our kitchen making that for us. Very interested to taste that later. Yeah, but will we be able to tell the difference? Yeah. OK. Uh, with us now with their thoughts, Chef Ed Baines, who says this decision hasn't been thought through at all, and mum and vegetarian Vicky Sarias, uh, who thinks that it is a step in the right direction. I do. Why? Um, we know that beef cattle, obviously on deforested, Land is really contributing. It's the biggest culprit to emissions um, and uh, we need to make a change. I went to Goldsmith. I did my BA yeah. and my MA there. I guest lectured there. It's a groundbreaking university and it's a step in the right direction. We can't keep burying our heads in the sand. We have to do something. And if you put the beef side by side with, say, pea protein, it's 12 times more emissions that come out. We have to make steps to make a change and a difference. So it's a start, Ed? Uh, you know, not really. Not, not, not in that approach at all, actually, because it's, it's, it's taking information and then twisting it in the wrong way. So deforestation is a huge issue, and that's in South America, of course. So what you actually do is say, OK, we're not going to buy South American beef at all. You outlaw that. Um, British beef farmers farm very well. Obviously, England is a green and pleasant land, covered in meadows, covered in grasslands, um, which absorbs huge amounts. Of, of carbon, huge, huge amounts. Um, there are only two million beef cattle in England anyway. Um, but British beef is more expensive because of the quality um, and it's farmed beautifully. Um, and of course, you're making lesser an impact on the planet. But we haven't got enough. Because, sure, we haven't got enough. Because we when you when you're buying, be, well, it, it means it's more expensive. So if you want to create a carbon neutral environment within a restaurant, what you do is you look for local farming and local produce because it's very it's all good and well it's for example if you say i'm not going to have milk anymore because of dairy farming i'll have cashew milk you have to consider where the cashew nuts come from so you've got a massive impact on the yeah. planet because you're flying cashew nuts in or using shipping so and also farming is the third biggest contributor to global warming not the first obviously the first two are transport and energy they're the first major issues you have to consider when you're going to zero so to outlaw a beef burger is somewhat ridiculous because at the same time you're saying so but are you going to eat lamb? Yes, yeah, so should they not be What about lamb? Be banning because there's 20, they will be 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 beef. Charlotte, beef. when you're when you're ready, we'll 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 try <laughs> beef the Beef is the biggest the culprit. Thing. So we've got Joseph um, Poor, who did this big groundbreaking study. He looked at 40,000 farms in 119 countries. He found that if we in the UK swapped our red meat-based meal once a One week. week yeah to a plant-based meal, we will cut the emissions by 8.4%. That's the equivalent of taking 16 million cars off the road in a year. So by you denouncing this, it, it's factual, well, the it's scientific. Farm, the National I, I, Farmers I, I just, Union said no, that, that they head. believed that his research was overly simplistic. Well, no. I think it's actually well, understanding that. that there's certain key things you can do to remove your, or, or reduce your carbon footprint. One of them is avoid wastage. That's the biggest culprit at the moment. The other one is eat less meat. Mm -hmm. Don't just so go, oh, no meat at all. Eat less meat. We used to, back in the day, you'd eat beef on a Sunday. Um, you might eat chicken on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is the greatest natural resource we have in England well, for protein is fish. We are fish. going to eat less meat. Um, you uh, know, it's fish, fish. Not a huge amounts of fish, and we export 90% of our seafood. Which is ironic because that surrounds us and it's and it's completely environmental. But well, I think by saying that, isn't it a right move then that Goldsmiths, University of London, have said let's ban this so that people can students, the future, can reflect on their choices. Guys, what I want Vicky. you to do now is wow, to try um, the, these burgers here. Now this is an all-natural blend: mushrooms, wheat, pea proteins, and beetroot yeah. juice to make it look as though they, well? they bleed. And uh, this burger has been uh, developed by Moving Mountains. They are a meat alternative food tech company. It's got nuts in so mind. Yes, yeah, so this is the UK's first ever meatless <laughs> uh, burger. So it's served up in the Hard Rock mm. Cafe, Cafe Rouge, Harvester, more places um, like that. Try it. So Did you say there are nuts in Are there nuts in here? Charlotte, are there nuts <laughs> in there? No nuts. No nuts. No nuts. No nuts. Okay, no, um, the first thing, the, the um, texture looks very soft compared to meat. It tastes really meaty, actually. If you did a blind test, could you tell if that's... Yeah, immediately, yeah. Um, you, you know it's not meat, but it's not a bad burger. Not a bad um, burger. But it's not like 
it's not like eating beef, which has got that sweetness and that musk, but, yeah, but there's be beef and there's planet. beef. There's good beef and there's rubbish beef, yeah. you know, and... But isn't it a start, Ed? You know, everybody yeah. say, oh, well, just me doing my little bit, what difference is it going to make? If nobody did anything, no, I, we'd never I'd get anywhere. I it would make more sense to say we only serve locally sourced produce with um, very low mileage, so, so you look at that in detail. Where are you? I own a restaurant in central London. Um, we use a, a company, for example, our dairy, to make sure that the movement of all dairy produce is as short as possible. And, and all the ingredients, we look into it in that way to make a minimum Is it, is it a headline grabbing, so, Vicky, to, for them to say... Well, we're I'll tell you what's headline grabbing. I think, I think it's a great step forward. I hope lots of universities roll this out. I hope schools start looking at their menus and, you know, we're teaching children about protecting our planet. We need to start... We can't bury our heads no, in agree. the sand I anymore. I absolutely agree with that. But I think by banning one, one protein source yeah, no, isn't making the right statement. Vicky, what you it, said, you said this is delicious here. I, I'm eating this. She like it. And truthfully, I can't tell. I can't the tell. It's not it me. doesn't. I don't feel any more satisfaction. I understand if I was eating pure, really high end beef burgers, but if I'm eating high street beef burgers, I can't I, tell. I agree. Difference. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, that's the thing about you know nowadays everyone sort of thinks you can assume eat meeting meat every day, cheap meat. That that's got to go. That's got to change. You know. Um, but I, I would suggest it would be for them to make more sense to, to look at rather than targeting one single thing, beef. Beef's the biggest culprit. Um, so they're starting somewhere, and then you know we but can. But you and think you think Ed, they're being silly burgers about this? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's certainly grabbed a headline. It's yeah. got us all here talking about it. So from that point yeah. of view, it's made sense. I think from from uh, a, a sort of actually the, the real terms of what you're doing is saying, so, OK, I can't have a beef burger, so um, can I have a chicken tikka masala and I'll have um, a lamb kebab? And but look I, at the I, rising I don't think, where veganism, are you going with though, that? and vegetarian. Well, Karen says, People I say, I say well done to Goldsmith. Radical change is what we need to show others the way. It's a start. Gemma says, though, I wonder how the teachers, workers, students, etc., all travel to the university. Well, that's true. Banning burgers should be way down their list. But, uh, they said that flights and... Uh, and that's kind of lower down the list, so yeah. agriculture Andrea, should come it just first takes one person well, to travel start the second. change. Tra travel is the second biggest yeah. contributor. You know, the thing is, to... when, you, when you look at this, and we look at the Goldsmith research, yeah. and they said if everyone in the UK switched just one red meat meal oh, to a plant-based meat per week, just one, it would cut the UK's greenhouse gas emissions by 50 million tonnes, that's nearly in 10%. Year. Yeah, and it's the equivalent of taking, and get this, 16 million cars off the road. Now, the thing is, if that is true, it's just that people, with what goldsmiths are doing and what you're advocating, they just can't visualise it. If you can visualise it, then you can see that it's worthwhile. And if you said to me, you can have a real burger or that, which results in 16 million cars being taken off the road, I'd go for that. Same. We've got to make a change. And we've got. And I think it's all right, you know, theorising about things and teaching, but if you're not actually d getting into that canteen and saying, we're going to make real change here, mm. and it's not just about But I would suggest the at the beef. same time, that statistic's great, but if we weren't throwing 30% of the food we buy in the bin, you could mm -hmm. times that figure by three. Yeah. Okay. So we need to that's do lots very, of things, very relevant. Don't we? Very we relevant. We all need, need to, do we all things, need to but, join up. Yeah. Um, we all need to move mountains. Is <laughs> As Andrew says that lots of people doing just a little thing makes a big change when you put it all together. It really does. Thanks, Thank guys. You Thank, Thank you both. Thank you for your Thank comments. You Keep those well, coming in today. Do you know what? All of that is just food for thought. That, that's what it's meant to be. That's what goldsmiths are doing. Should we all just be doing something to move it's like things recycling, along? It's isn't it? You yeah, feel you've got maybe to do that your you're bit. doing your bit.